Hey guys, this is XCC and welcome to the install tutorial for the MGC mod pack. Um, in this video, I'll show you how to install the MGC mod pack, obviously. And this is for a Minec version, Minecraft version 1.2.5. And yeah, so let's get started. In the description of this video, there will be two links to download two very important files. The first one is um, conveniently how to install the MGC mod pack and you just have to open that up, I've got it here and this file will give you all the information you need to install uh, all the mods into your mod pack or for the mod pack and the second file you need to download is this configfiles.zip so they're the first two downloads you'll have to do but they're not the only ones I've got configfiles.zip in here once you've got those two files you'll need to follow the instructions in the file and step one is to download these files. Note the categories A, B, and C. So this one, this first one here, you should have already done if you've got this file. And step two, or well not step two, but the second part of the, uh, step one is to download these ones. And note the categories A, B, and C. So you need to download these files. The links will be at the end of this document. They're not there yet, but don't worry, I'll put them there before I upload this and I've done that and conveniently put them into part A, B and C so they're all the files that you will need so once you've done that you can proceed to step 2 make sure you have WinRAR or another archiving program and Notepad++ which is optional installed so I've got that installed I've got WinRAR, Notepad++ and then navigate to your minecraft.jar file so there are two ways to do this. You can go to your address bar at the top of your Windows Explorer and type in this percent app data or another method is to go to your start menu, type run, click on run, type that in and press OK and that will get you to your .minecraft folder. Okay. So if you go inside your .minecraft folder, you will find a few folders and files in there and your minecraft.jar will be in the bin there we go there it is and make sure you make a backup this is very important in case uh, you get something wrong or something doesn't work you can uh, use the backup to start again and make a fresh start so I've already done that and then just open it up in WinRAR or your archiving program so I can just right click and open with WinRAR that's all cool the next thing you need to do is to delete this folder here, meta-inf. Um, if you don't, it will crash, most likely, so get rid of it. And then open mod loader in WinRAR as well. And that is located in, let's uh, make a lo note here, located in category A of downloads. Okay. So if we go to our downloads part A, you'll see mod loaders there if you've downloaded it. You need to open this up in WinRAR and oops, no. Um, all you need to do is drag and drop all the files in mod loader into your Minecraft.jar. Easy as that. Next step is to drag the contents oh no. Next step and yes, um, I did miss number 4, I'll fix that. Uh, repeat for all the other files in category A, in the order listed. It's very important you do it in the order listed here. Alright, so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do that. Um, first I need to get mod loader. I'm sorry, audio mod. Then Minecraft Forge. And come on, there we go. Then I need um play API. I don't need these text files, so I'm not going to select them. Um, then Sparrow API done, and then Coach can call, drag and drop, and then last but not least, not enough items. Now this is not a necessary mod. But it's a good way to help you um, test out whether you've installed the mod properly, and if you want to, you know, go into a creative mode and you know test stuff out. So that's that done, 
And once you've copied all the all the files inside these folders into your Minecraft.jar, you are done with WinRAR. You can close all that, and if you just go and run your Minecraft, and oh, and oh well, I don't have internet right now, so it won't matter. But um, just open up Minecraft, and you'll see it works. There'll be a bunch of info here. This is a part of Minecraft Forge, I believe, and you'll let you know. Three mods loaded, and there's a nice mods button here that you can get info about. Some of the mods don't have info, but that doesn't matter. But you'll um, you'll know all the mods that you have installed. So at the moment, it's actually four, but okay. But I guess not counting Forge. So it's got Minecraft Forge, um, Chicken Call, and not enough items. So that's all cool. But obviously we haven't installed the core of this mod pack yet, all the core mods. So we need to do that right now. Let's follow the next step. In your .minecraft folder, locate the mods folder. And if there isn't one, go make one. Now, because I've run Minecraft, there'll be a mods folder. And if you don't have one, like uh, the instruction said, just make one. Make sure you have an S on the end of it, that's important and you shouldn't have anything in there right now but we are going to change that next you need to drag all the files in category C category C not B I know C into your mods folder okay whoops why did I open up Firefox anyway um, into your downloads category C this is uh, probably the easiest part of this tutorial. You just need to select all the documents in here that you've downloaded and copy and then paste it into your mods folder. Easy as that. So let me fall, close Firefox. And it's still empty, it's copying, copying. There we go, everything's in there. Cool. That's that step done. Open the zip folders in category B. Okay, so let's go to category B and open up the zip folder. Let's do portal gun first. And it says to drag the appropriate files into the mods folder. Now, if you're not reading, uh, if you're not watching this video, then you can just, uh, well, there's no point saying that, but um, the instructions will be in the readme file on how to install. So you can go look at that. Or easier, you can just copy this portal gun folder and paste it in your mods. That's all you have to do. And it's going to take a while to copy, so I'll be right back when that's done. Okay, so it's uh, just finished copying. Folders there. And, yep, I'm going to do it again for the other file in category B, which was Smart Moving. If you open it up, there'll be a bunch of files. Do not worry. All you need to do is select the Smart Moving client for Mod Loader and copy that. You can ignore all the other files. It has a, it serves no purpose, purpose for us. We just need to paste it there. And you're done. You need to run Minecraft. And if I go to this one here and click on this one, that will launch my Minecraft. Log in. And just waiting for it. And it's going to crash. Excellent. Exactly what the instructions say. Minecraft will crash. Don't worry. So, next you need to do what you need to do is extract the contents of the configfiles.zip and paste the files into your .minecraft folder. Easy enough, right? So, into your downloads, you need to extract all the files here. Yep, and once that's done, you'll see a bunch of folders in here. All we need to do is copy them and paste them into, not mods folder, but um, your .minecraft folder. So, this directory here paste and you do want to replace everything it says or ask you for so next 16 conflicts copy and replace and that will fix all the issues that you had before with your minecraft crashing okay cool so now 
you're pretty much done. Just need to run it. Just to make sure. Yep. And everything will be completely fine. So has to load. It's taking its time. Ta da! Awesome. 37 mods loaded. That's a lot of mods. But as you can see, if you really wanted to, you could go through all of them in here. They're all there. And most of them don't have any metadata. This one does. Nice. Ooh, that's a lot of stuff. And it's crashed. Hmm, that's weird. Okay, I guess don't mess around with that uh, mod loader thing. But don't worry, besides that, um, we should be fine. Let's close that other one. Just starting it again. It's okay, that's, uh, I've never encountered that problem before, but other than that, um, Minecraft runs perfectly fine, so just ignore that. Pretend that didn't happen. Okay, so that's all fine. Let's think of it. Let's create a new world. And just see that you can actually, uh, run around and, you know, everything works. And it will be a little laggy as the world is generating and I am recording, so just uh, bear with that for a moment. Yep. I seem to always spawn near the jungle biome, I don't know why. But And it's really laggy, of course. Let's just give it a moment, space to load. And just check my settings, everything's cool. Yep, everything's fine. Let's back to game. And it's still really laggy, okay. But you get the gist, everything works. If you do want to check that you've loaded all your mods, just open up your inventory and not enough items should be open. And you can go through all the items and mods that you've got. And you see industrial craft, equivalent exchange, forestry, portal gun, uh, more forestry, build craft, rail craft, doggy talents. Red Power, Steve's Carts, and yeah, some blocks up here as well. So you can see everything here is fine. Everything's working, everybody's happy. One last thing I do want to do is you might have noticed this folder here. This is my world. I'm going to load it in. Um, oh, I've already got it there. Oh, that's weird. I don't want that. I want this version here. And in a single player, you'll see my world is nicely loaded there. And I'm going to play it to show you guys that um, it's exactly the same version I have here. And everything works just fine in this world. And it's going to be a little laggy, but you can see, let me switch cheat mode off. So, yep. Yep, everything's cool in this world. It's just a little laggy at the moment. Let me switch it to short. Okay, that's better. Okay, maybe not. And you will notice that we, um, some weird bugs with your... Yeah, just... Yeah, some, some weird bugs. Yep, machine's disappearing. That's fine. That's because um, it's just portal gun and uh, forge, I think, just having a few problems. But if you close your portals... Everything should be fine, except for that. I don't know what that is. Yep. So you see, there's no more that, no more of that weird thing here. And my uh, relay and collector are staying as relays and collectors. So yep. Everything's cool. Everything's fine. So I hope you guys found this tutorial helpful. And if you have any problems or queries, uh, feel free to leave a comment or go to our website at www multiplegamingcrew.com and if you head to our forums there will be a post for this and if you have any problems just uh, post your details there and I'll try and help you out. So I hope you guys um, found this tutorial helpful and have fun.